and he taught me how to play ukulele. <laughs> it's out of tune. <laughs> I know mine's too. <laughs> yeah, yours is out of tune yeah, too. We've just seen the third episode of CBC's Trickster and the titular character has been revealed and he's always looking on us. Like you Wade. look like Wade! Yeah. <laughs> no, he's like got a, a loose black hoodie, right? You just need a cigarette and a lighter and a dream. Today we have Joel Willette. Thank you, Joel, for being here once again with us. And we have Kalani Cuepo, who plays Wade, the mysterious Wade. Let's just recap. What have we seen in the last two episodes, gentlemen? We start to see a development of, of, uh, of a relationship, a, a bond that's starting to happen between Jared and um, Wade. And, but everybody's trying to figure out who the heck is, who the heck is Wade? Now we find ourselves at, at the end of episode three, truly being identified as the trickster. Well, what does he want? What? Why is he back after all this time? You know, Jared's life is just getting more and more chaotic. He's getting invaded in his home now by by this this drug dealer. Georgina is picking him up, like, like and and her face is switching. What? What is she? One stunt that I have to just that I'm just curious about is the scooter driving that scooter. Uh, what was the top speed on that thing going around town? It was like a symbol of a rabbit and a turtle. <laughs> like, you know, they always like turn it down. And then I was just like, crank that guy up and just start spinning and stuff. I, I had so much fun with that thing. At your top speed, I could walk faster than that. That's what it looked like. <laughs> like a good jog, I think, a good jog. The series of books that the television show is based on, the original book is called Son of a Trickster. This isn't just an indigenous concept. Can you guys speak to how this shows up in other cultures as well? The native mythos of trickster takes forms in, in indigenous uh, cultures all over the globe. In every uh, community, there there is this, this trickster character who sort of brings balance, who brings humor, who brings lessons to, uh, to their people and and often sometimes can be sort of the scapegoat. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, it's gotta be Trickster. You know, he's the reason why this is all happening. In pop culture, we've seen the Trickster in other ways, like Loki, uh, and the, everyone's probably like uh, knows Loki because of the Marvel movies and Thor, but Loki is the Trickster in Norse mythology, and Maui, which like, when we think about it, it's like, oh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Moana. It's like, we know the tricksters already we've seen them and now this is interesting on like this show here is like now we get to see the uh heisla people's trickster but we're already familiar with tricks from other communities oftentimes there'll be um it could be raven it could be coyote and i think that's what we, we talked a lot about this you know joel and i like like this show is going to to bring up bring about a lot of curiosity where people are going to be looking it up and be like, wait a minute, is this a thing? Is this for real? For real? For real? Tell us about the dynamic between Jared and Wade. What would you guys say is the defining element of that relationship? Jared is just so, his life's chaotic, you know, like he's, he's, he's the parent of, parent of his parents. He's never really had like, a, you know, a role model you know, like that. He's never really like, had to like someone to like look up to. And, and who, ha who has their who, ha who has their their stuff together, you know? When you, when Wade comes into his life and say that that he's his dad, it takes you know Jared back. If that was the first time, if you were always taking care of somebody else, that somebody was going to say, "I'll take care of you. I'm going to look after you. You know, like I'm going to protect you. And I'm going to save you. You know, and all you've been doing is doing that for somebody else. That becomes powerful. It becomes electric." And that's what makes those scenes so interesting. Kalani kind of alluded to that when you guys got together and there was that connection. But Joel, what can you tell us about the things that you've learned from him? You know, from the start, he was just so like welcoming. And I, I really needed that too, you know. It was, I was so like scared and nervous. You're intimidated by Kalani, you know, you're intimidated by Crystal, Anna. But um, Kalani just took me under his wing and he was just so helpful with, you know, my acting and, you know, he just like, helped me form it better and you know like told me to actually like like it's not not in the face you know like you, you actually gotta feel it you gotta feel those scenes you gotta feel that character and you know that that really dawned on me and like over time and over time i was just learning more and more you know all of us like the whole cast would chill after we talked like we'd have these life talks you know talking talking about deep stuff and like i, I love that stuff he taught me how to play ukulele Where is 
your ukulele now? Somewhere. I mean. Okay, so this uh, is what I want. When, oh, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> See what I mean? This is what I love about this kid. He's just like, okay, like you give him a task, and you're just like, Wait, boom. Do you have it? Boom. You got it? I got it, yeah. Oh. But I don't know any songs. I don't know any songs. Yes, you do. I know songs. songs. I, I don't got the script. I don't got the papers, though. Do that tricks to you yeah. Mine is. It's. Oh, yeah. That's Quapo. It's Quapo. Uh, <laughs> It's out of tune. <laughs> I know, mine's too. <laughs> yeah, yours is out of tune too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you guys for joining us here uh, after episode three, and we're going to connect with you. Joel, we'll see you after episode four, and Kalani, we will see you again. Those of you watching, if you have any comments, questions, or messages for these guys, leave them in the comments below, and keep watching Trickster on CBC and CBC Gem.